Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show y'all how to <clears throat> use the program FontLab Pad right here. I use it to create all my text. That way, I don't have to worry about the spacing in the text in Design Space. Yours may look different when you download the program. I'm not for sure. I'm on Mac. It might look different on Windows, but it should work the same. Um, you just go to File, Open, Installed. Then you want to find your font. This is going to have every font that you have in your computer. Um, I'm just going to use, let's say, affectionately yours. It's from Defont. Just click OK and see it's going to pop up whatever you typed in last, the last time you used the program. Okay, so say I want to type in my name again, just like I had it. Um, the per the spacing in it is perfect. You don't have to adjust the letters. You don't have to worry about the spacing in between the letters. You just save it and go. Okay, so it's all typed out just like this. You can size it if you want. I always just leave mine at 50, and then if I need to resize in Design Space, I do so there. So it's at 50. File, save as type in whatever you want to save it as and then you want to be sure you save it as a SVG file you can save it wherever in your computer but you want to make sure you save it as a SVG file right here that way whenever you upload it to design space it's perfect there's no editing to it you just uh, upload and go so you save it Okay, and then you can either exit out of the program or if you need to make more stuff in it, you can leave it open. Mine doesn't even have the minimize button, not for sure why, but if I'm done with it, I usually just X out of it. Then I go to my design space right here, upload, upload image, browse, right here is where all my documents are. Here is the one I just typed up. See, now it's perfect. It doesn't give me the option to edit, at, edit it at all because it's an SVG file, so you don't edit them when you upload them. But you want to make sure you use your tags because it makes it easier whenever you go to search for an image. It makes it easier you just type in a keyword and it pops up. If you don't, then it won't pop up and then you have to type in the exact name that you have under the image name. And that's a pain. I did it the first like months I used design space in oh it was bad so save it add your tags or add your tags and then save it and then you up it's uploaded you just click it insert it into your design space your pro in your project and here it is you can size it and all that you can also ungroup it if you wanted to move the letters around however you needed them or you can just leave it. Um, I usually will weld by word just in case I need to move it around later on I usually just weld each word instead of the entire thing together I usually just do each word and if it's a cursive font you you're gonna wanna weld it that way there's no cut lines in between each of the letters like right here there would be a cut line where the D and the A meet. You don't want that in cursive fonts. So then you have it's all welded and then you can move them around however you need. Then you can align it, center them, and if you want them to stay this exact way when you hit make it, you want to hit attach. And then when you go to your cut screen, it's going to be right there exact same way it's they're not going to be spread apart or in different spots or whatever it's going to be exactly how you have it on the in the project and then you just cut or write or whatever project you're making and you're ready to go there's no spacing needed you don't have to adjust any of that